This is South Cornwall Avenue in Bellingham, Washington. This was once the hotspot for locals to walk, enjoy the fireworks on the 4th of July, and enjoy the sceneries of the Bellingham Bay. This is sadly now the spot for broken down RVs and cars and trash cluttering the streets surrounding it. Some people will say this is Seattle North. This is Bellingham, Washington. This is an exclusive coverage by Bellingham Metro News of Bellingham is Dying. During this homeless crisis, encampments popping up at every end of town. As we show in the next slide, trash piling up in stolen grocery carts throughout the Guide Meridian area. This is Samish Way on the south end of Bellingham, Washington. This was once the place for high crime and cheap motels. Those motels are now on their way out and low income housing is on its way in. High rise towers are being built at this moment. Will it solve the problem of Bellingham's homeless crisis? We do not know yet, but we will see during the incoming future. People also believe that these homeless people are on their way from Seattle in high numbers. On your right hand side at the Captain Bellingham you can see a man with the grocery cart. Two of them slumped against the wall. And that right there is the Max Motel which has been condemned for at least five years now. Being homeless is not a crime but crimes of homeless are on the rise. In Bellingham, Washington, this man started a fire in the middle of the intersection of Samish Way. Fire department responded and put the fire out. Arsons are on the rise in prime real estate areas throughout Bellingham, Washington. This was Laurel Park in early 2021. In early 2021, Antifa made its presence in Bellingham, Washington. They rallied outside Mayor Seth Fleetwood's house in response to the homeless crisis currently ongoing in the city of Bellingham. This resulted in many protests after, including the occupation of the Civic Center in downtown Bellingham. Bellingham SWAT, police, Whatcom County Sheriff's Office, Border Patrol and other agencies eventually cleared the Civic Center. These people ended up moving over to the Civic Stadium and Civic Athletic Complex to continue their protest. They were eventually cleared from there and moved to Sunset Pond. They are in many other places now throughout Bellingham following the occupation. The encampment at the Civic Athletic Complex was eventually removed following community outrage the outrage was due to multiple fires and explosions and crime committed to children.
These Antifa people did not help the homeless. Their actions made it worse for the homeless. They did not care about the homeless. All they cared about was their own political agenda and the headlines. This was the scenes from the homeless areas throughout Bellingham. Trash littering the streets. A cab written all over the walls with their agenda to defund the Bellingham Police Department. Homelessness is due in part to the cost of living, but that's not the only driving factor, as drugs and alcohol also are an underlying illness to it. Drug and alcohol treatment centers for long-term residents are heavily needed in the city of Bellingham. Previous gubernatorial candidate Lauren Culp addressed this during his campaign. It is 100% needed and is a driving factor for homelessness in Washington state. Now, more than ever, law and order is needed back in Bellingham, Washington. We need our elected officials, mayor, to take action, preventative measures so people can live. We need long-term treatment centers for drug and alcohol abuse in Bellingham, Washington. We need ways for people who want the help to get the help and the people who do not want the help to face the consequences of law and order in the city. In the next clip I'm about to show you is a packed base camp in downtown Bellingham. So many people stay here in so close quarters throughout the day. When will our city and state leaders do something about this? to prevent something like this from happening again. Following the occupation of the Civic Center in downtown Bellingham, the large-scale homeless crowd has now moved to South Cornwall Avenue, and they are also now behind Walmart on Guide Meridian Road. The Guide Meridian Road Walmart is the most populous homeless encampment in the entire city right now. Last month, a homeless man shot another homeless man at that encampment. Stay tuned for more on this story.